get asked so often is how do you build a mountainscape? Now this one's a little advanced, but I'm going to break it down and show you how to make one mini mountain because if you can do that, you can add on and create beautiful artwork. Follow along. So to start this mountain, I'm just digging in my scrap pile and I found some end cut off. So I took one of these and I painted it blue. Now we need some wood to build the mountain. I prefer to use old fencing. So I had some fence boards I just cut down to about an inch wide. Now, if you don't have access to a table saw to do that, just go to your lumber yard and pick up some lab. It's about two inches wide and that works just as well. Next, you need to decide the pitch of your mountain. So you can pick any angle on the table saw you want, something real steep or something a little wider. Um, I just advise once you pick an angle to stick with it. Today we're gonna do 45 degree cuts. So I'm taking my wood over to the blade and I put it on a 45 degree angle and I'm just going to make a bunch of cuts. These are not exact. We're gonna trim the piece at the very end so any overhang is just fine. So once I make all those cuts, I just bring it over to the board and I do a dry fit just to make sure that I've cut enough pieces to cover the board how I like. So this looks pretty good and that overhang, don't worry about that. I'm gonna mark two little marks at top where I wanna do two additional cuts because I want some snowy peak mountains. So I'm just going back to that 45 degree cut and I'm just cutting those two top pieces into four pieces. So you can see here how it looks. I'm gonna do a quick sanding and then bring it off the board and paint those peaks white. And I'll let that dry for about an hour. So one tip when you're using white paint on reclaimed wood, it's good to prime it first or use a painter that has a primer stain blocker built in so you don't have any tannins lifting up. Next, I'm just gonna put them right on the board. And if you wanna use a speed square to line that up, the first piece, I sometimes do that. It just makes sure that it's not lopsided. So the rest of this comes together pretty simply. I'm just gonna apply the wood glue, put the wood on there. If you wanted to secure it with some brad nails or pin nails, you could do that, but it's such a small piece, I don't think it's needed. And again, don't worry about that overhang. We're gonna trim that off at the very end. Next up, I'm just gonna take this piece over to my miter saw and cut off all of that overhang. Now, if this was a much larger piece, I would probably do this on a table saw. But there you go, it's all cut. Next, I'm going to take some of that leftover fencing I had and just put a quick frame on it. To secure the frame, I am using a brad nailer and wood glue. So this is the last side, and it's all done. And once you get a basic mountain down, then you can expand. So I'm going to show you some samples of what you could do in the future. In this example, I took the same mountain and I added a Christmas theme to it. And then as you gain more practice, you can have fun with different skies, add additional mountains, just make them your own. I hope this inspired you to make your own mountain.